Yeah, Swifties in the NFL. I think it's going to be, honestly, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But Swifties in the NFL it's is on the chirp, and it's also the Chiefs who you have a vendetta against. I think it's a lose-lose yeah, yeah, yeah. situation for Travis because, one, so. Swifties are fucking ruthless. They're waiting for him to mess up, waiting for him to make a mistake. Yeah. So they can hate him. The NFL, on the other hand, is waiting for this to become a distraction. So when yes. he has one bad game, he then is distracted. Taylor Swift is the problem. I don't see it being a good situation for him. Either way, it doesn't seem like it's going to work out in the end. All good points, Jack. All good points. I I feel like the Kelsey brothers are just on an ascension that's just so wild right now. And Hall of Famer, right? He's a Hall of Famer. Mm, yes. I feel like he's almost like, as far as the NFL piece goes, bad game, no bad game. Like, yeah, there's going to be some rumblings from the haters. Those, you know the Twitter logos with just the egg on it, those type of individuals, those guys are going to really get after him. But he's shown time and time again, even after having bad games, coming back and having yards after yards, and the true fans can now come and say, hey, what about this? Now with the Swifties, you've seen the pop culture world right now, a lot of Swiftie fans are calling this fake, saying that this is not even a real thing. This is a ploy by Travis Kelsey's company because if you see Taylor, she's not saying anything about it. She never says anything about it. And they, they're they walking with each other during the post game or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're not even holding hands. And so is it, I mean, are they just, just talking? Are they just courting? <laughs> are they, are they just friends? Is it a big gimmick? Who really knows? I mean, she's sitting with his mom in the box. I know. Isn't that crazy? And how do things transpire that quickly? Picking up, like cleaning up the suite and stuff too. Like I think Swifties are in shambles because they don't want it. And I think you got to be careful. I'm just saying, just like Jack said, they go hard. Yeah, I think Swifties are in shambles, are they not? Oh, a, a lot of war with ladies. We need a, a lot. Our podcast will literally get canceled. Or a so lot Dave, of way my content. This podcast. Like I know Dave is a big uh, Swifty. I know Kelly Keeks is a big Swifty. So I'll kind of get some of my content a lot from her because I know she is in hell right now. She hates it. Like because why she hate it? They're coming in the world of the NFL. It's like here's a question: <laughs> Is Travis Kelsey bigger than Taylor Swift? <laughs> here's my thing. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Swifties. Welcome to the NFL. This is a bigger audience. The NFL audience is bigger than the Swifty audience. And and Taylor, to me, is having fun. I got to, guess what? I'm having fun because I'm now playing uh, blank space in the car at breakfast cooking. Like, love the player or because or, she loves the players and he loves the game because we're young and we're reckless. We'll take this way too far. They know that they're doing this right now and they're having fun. And it low-key fires me up. It gives me a little bit of juice because I know the Swifties are in shambles about it, but I know that they're taking this thing too far. They're having a good time. They're being young. They're being reckless, dude. Being wild. They're living in the moment, and I root for that. Hell yeah! I like I like the way he I like the way you rounded that off, but it didn't make a whole lot of sense. I feel like he literally he started. He literally, you started by saying that the Swift, like the Travis, the NFL audience is bigger than the Swifty audience. Yeah, and it's not, dude. You don't think the NFL audience is bigger than the Swifties? She is selling out every <laughs> single stadium multiple times a day. She is like around the world. The big has the biggest fan base. She's our modern day Michael Jackson. Hey, look, the, way look she the NFL's Instagram account has 27 million followers. Taylor Swift has 272 million. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> now there's a but. Dude, over 10 times. You can get over rid of 100 times. million followers and still have 150 there's million no on doubt. the NFL. How many, how many, how many followers? 27 million to 272 million. How many people watch the Super Bowl? Eight. They said that Taylor Swift's most Billions. recent tour. No, like 70 million, I think, watched the Super Bowl. 70 million. She, she still has her tour that three times happened. the amount of followers. Wait, wait, how many followers she got? 272 million. 272. Yeah. But how many almost are bots? 20%. <laughs> <laughs> they said that Taylor Swift's most recent tour literally shifted the American economy. Like it it affected the actual, our U.S. economy. And, that's not even, and, and also, that is, that, that's, brother, that's bubble thinking. That's bubble thinking because you're in America, out. and I get it. Uh, hold on, football is the is North America's great greatest sport. But you walk outside of North America, and you're literally looking at soccer, F1, even basketball, dude. Even basketball like, is more universally liked more than that. Taylor Swift is loved in every every single country, dude. Every single country, Taylor Swift is absolutely loved, and it's like that is I love you, but that is 
like the reason why people hate America just now. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> you know who's going to take the W here? What? The NFL. Yeah, there's, there's going to be way more exposure to the NFL. Absolutely. Way more. But I, yeah, because I, but you, we're talking about different arguments. What Jack said, the lose lose. We're just talking I, about I, my I brain, think those dude. two points are good and points I'm for the lose lose. But the wins, the wins for Travis Kelsey is getting this. Travis Kelsey is now becoming a list celebrity. He's be, he's he's gone from that CB and now he's going up because Universal was going to be like, hey, who's this Travis Kelsey guy? The people that don't watch football, he's now going to have more and more followers. He's winning in that circumstance. The NFL is going to be massive winners because regardless of how long this thing lasts, let's say it lasts half the season, the amount of views on just Chiefs games alone are going to triple next weekend. Swifties, welcome to NFL Sunday. Yeah, but also... You now have to take time to live in this bubble of the NFL, which is the best bubble to be in. <laughs> NFL fandom, bro? Football fandom. I, I would almost argue that college fandom is better than Think NFL about this. fandom. I, I, would, I, I would bet you... I guarantee you the Swifties would say that being a Taylor Swift fan is better than being in the NFL. Swifties? Well, yeah, they're, they're going to say that. They're going to say that, but what Will's arguing, and correct me if I'm wrong. Is, Listen, there's a lot of arguments going in my head. I think what I enjoy the most out of this type of trolling attitude is NFL fans don't care about, will never have to or, or care about the, the bubble without just embracing the bubble of Taylor Swift. Swifty fans probably, I would assume, hate the culture of like football fans and guys. And now they have yeah. to partake and sit at the table with us and enjoy your food. Make yourself cozy. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. Listen to us, drink this beer, listen to loud 80s rock and roll music. Yeah. Get after it. Paint our faces with our tarps off, nipples hanging out, belligerent fan bases. Because I'm uh, that right there's a perfect example of an NFL fan. Like, I am now listening. I'm like, oh yeah, get some Taylor Swift and think about start to put all these clues together. Oh, she's writing some music here. Oh, this is what she means here. This is what she means there. I enjoy it.